Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Kelly Manzoni. Thank you for joining me today. This month, we're focusing on healthy hips. And for today's class, we're gonna need our two long sticks. So this is a six foot, so either the six foot or seven foot. And if you don't own stick mobility, you could use a PVC pipe, wooden dowel, broom, whatever you have access to. If you do happen to own one of the shorter sticks, I'm gonna be using that later in class just because of the space that I'm in. And uh, we also need access to a sidewall and a pad or a folded up towel or pillow for kneeling. And then later on, you may need that for our shin box and straddle position. So we're gonna start with our warm up first with a single stick going into bow and arrow, just kind of loosening up our lateral lines as we work into our hips. We're gonna take the stick over to our right side. So the camera flips me, even though this is my left side, I'm gonna call it my right so we could mirror one another. In your bow and arrow stance, you're slightly wider than shoulder and hip width. The bottom hand is going to be right in line with the hip and the stick is placed midline of the foot, maybe about three inches out. If you want more of a stretch, you can bring it closer to you. If that's too challenging, you can take the bottom of the stick further out away from you. That left hand, the thumb is going to face down with the palm facing forward. You're going to press out first with your hips. And now when you do, I want you to grip into the ground with your feet, take your tailbone under and then begin to press out with that upper body. There's a little bit of leverage with that top left arm. And focusing on your breathing, you're just gonna inhale and exhale, and we're gonna gently floss through our shoulders here, taking the stick forward onto the sagittal plane and then outward on the frontal plane or slightly past that frontal plane. Hold for a moment, slowly come out of it, transition to the other side. So now the stick is on the left side, Bottom hand in line with the hip, right palm facing forward, hips out first, follow through with that upper body, taking the tailbone under, push into your feet, activate your legs, going into that flossing, so we're forward, and then gently outward to the side. And I'm just pushing down into the stick, maybe about 20% of strength, hold, let's go back over to the other side. Now we're gonna change our stance with our feet. We're gonna go into a staggered stance. So I'm taking that left leg back, the toes are gonna to face out on a diagonal. Same thing with that front right foot, toes slightly angled. The stick now is gonna be further away from the body and still in line with the hip. And we're just gonna go into a staggered stance bow and arrow. So you're gonna go a little deeper into that hip line. You might feel a little bit of your front line and then angle, look upward, towards the ceiling, that inside shoulder, that right shoulder is down away from the ear. Hold for a breath or two, and then slowly come out of your bow and arrow. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Left leg is forward, toes slightly turned out. Same thing with that back right foot, stick in line with the hip further out away from the body. Again, you could play with that positioning depending on what type of feedback you want. And then hips first, upper body second. Now you may find that one side feels a little bit different than the other. For me, the side feels a little bit more sticky. And then you're gonna angle, look upward towards the ceiling. Again, watch that inside shoulder. Make sure you're not holding your breath or kind of jetting the chin forward. Your neck should be relaxed. And slowly come out of your bow and arrow. With your long stick, you're gonna take your palms so they face upward towards the ceiling. Go into your stick mobility horse stance so you're wider than a shoulder and hip width. Soften into your knees, chin stays neutral, so I want your eyes forward, and we're just doing some gentle kayaking that we typically do in class with our shorter stick. Now I'm pushing both palms inward, so I'm crushing the stick to create a little bit of tension and feedback. And now I want you to add just a little bit of rotation through the trunk of the body. So as you can see, my hip bones are still facing forward. Park it on that left hip, square off facing forward, and now we're going back. And I'm still pushing into the stick as I'm going up, back, 
and down. Now we're going to add just a little bit of that trunk rotation, waking up our T-spine. As you can see at the moment, my hips continue to face forward. Let's go for four more. Back one, two, three, on four, come center, shake it out. Warming up our feet and our hip line, I'm gonna face forward here with my right hand on top, left hand on the bottom, and you're just gonna lift and lower the heel of your left foot. I want you to think of spreading out the toes, elevating that heel, working into the fascia in the bottom of the foot, waking up the calves, switch over to the right side. So elevate and lower that heel, right into the ball of the foot. Good, let's do three more on this side. Up one, two, on three, we're gonna releve on that left side and circle outward. I say it every time we do this. So oftentimes we compensate with that knee in the hip, but we really wanna focus on the foot ankle complex. So you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure into the big toe and then circle outward into the pinky toe. Transition, other side. So you're going counterclockwise on that right foot. Excellent. Just a few more here. Let's do one more and release. I'm gonna go on profile here so you can see the hip line. So in our core stance, we have a slight anterior tuck. So the chest is upright and we're soft into the knees. We're gonna go into an anterior pelvic tilt, then posterior, anterior tuck, posterior. Let's do two more here. Again, keeping the chest upright, pushing down into the stick. Go posterior, come neutral, and then gently, I'll face you. You're gonna take the left hip up, and then right hip. So we're shifting left, right. Now, the knees are essentially staying still. So sometimes you'll see people sway the knees from side to side to create that hip elevation here. You wanna, again, focus on the actual hip doing the work. Left, right. And then let's go for some circles. So we're gonna go clockwise, transitioning from that posterior to anterior tilt. Let's do two more here in the circle. One more, come center and change direction. Again, gripping the ground with the feet, maintaining that core stance. Focus on keeping your torso still so we don't wanna compensate with swaying our upper body from side to side or hinging forward. Again, we're staying upright. Let's do two more. Good, one more. And then come center, lengthen your legs, shake it out. We're gonna grab now our second long stick. Taking the sticks uh, right by your side, I want you to take the top of the hands if you could reach. So if you have the longer sticks, you can hold up on high, get a little bit of traction. If you're able to, cup the top of the sticks, step in. So you're gonna go into like a gentle squat here. A little bit of traction as you kind of hang. And then you're gonna open up, slight rotation to the left. Inhaling, exhaling to the right, just a little bit. We wanna avoid folding forward, so we're keeping our chest upright. Let's do one more to the left and to your right. Coming out of that, taking both sticks, the bottom of the sticks are gonna angle in closer towards you. I want you to walk out so you're in a small straddle position. So we're going to go further out in a moment. Take the sticks, push into them, and hip hinge forward. Get a nice stretch. You're going to corkscrew your knuckles just a little bit. Rotate the knuckles forward so we get a little bit deeper into the shoulder girdle and into those lats. Hold here, deep breath in and exhale as you press down into the floor. And then we're slowly going to upright. 
Now in this one, we're going to heel toe out wider. Hip hinge once again, even though the legs are straight, there's a softness to the knee. And grip the ground with your feet. So both feet, the toes are facing forward. I want you to think of pulling apart the mat or the floor below you. And you're going to shift your body weight over to your right side so that your left leg is nice and straight. And then shift over to the left. Breathe. One more. Up and over to the other side. Now while we hold here and you're driving down into the sticks, just move the torso a little bit. So a little bit of flossing here with the upper body. You could bend one elbow as you go across and then shift to the other side, kind of personalize it. There's an area that is tight and you want to do a little bit of a hold, you could do so. And then take your time, come through center, heel toe out wider if possible, hinge and breathe. Again, grip the ground with your feet so it's best if you're barefoot here. Pull apart the mat below you, activate that interior line. And we're also obviously stretching posterior line here too. And then slowly, upright, heel toe in so you don't shock your hips, and then shake your legs out. We're going to use both of our sticks. Now, if you do not have a uh, little short bench to um, use for to elevate your back foot, I meant to mention that in the beginning class. I'm sorry, I forgot to. But uh, you could always do a knee down lunge, keeping your foot on the ground. You could use, um, you know, gosh, a step if you have it, the couch, whatever you have access to. We're going to take our left leg forward, and this is where if you need a pad for your knee, you would kneel on the pad. I'm going to take the top of my right foot to my short step here, and take the sticks in line with my hips, excuse me. <clears throat> While we're here, we're going to hold up high with that upper body. Now, if this bothers you, if you have any shoulder issues, you could always walk the sticks forward if needed and have the arms in line with the shoulders. Now, if not, the sticks are in line with your hips, and I want you to take a moment to squeeze that back right glute and take the pelvis under, tuck it under. So similar to our warm-up in our horse stance. While you're here, focus on your breathing. So you're driving down into the floor and then slight rotation to your right and to your left. One more to the right and one more over to your left. Hold here for a moment as we rotate inward. Four counts, hold one, two, three, on four, come center, slide those hands down, walk the sticks forward. You might have to wiggle that front foot in, come to stand, and we're transitioning to the other side. Right leg is forward, the top of the left foot is on your short step. Take a second, take that tailbone, scoop under, squeeze that glute, right, so we're finding length. Lift up and out of the hip line, so proud chest, arms lengthening, pressing that left hip forward, <clears throat> and then rotate inward just a little bit, and then outward to your left, excellent, back inward, so be mindful that you're not falling out with that hip, that hip is staying underneath the shoulder line. And as you come back through center, hold that rotation. That front uh, top left arm could cross towards that midline. Hold four counts, hold one, two, three, on four, come center. Take the sticks forward, slide that foot in, and come to stand. Shake it out. We're gonna move this to the side. Okay, so getting into the strength portion, 
we're going to come down with a single stick going into 90-90. You could use one of your long sticks. Because of the space that I have here in the furniture that gets in the way, I'm going to transition over to one short stick. You could use your short stick if you have that available. We're going to start in our 90-90 with the right leg forward, left leg back. So that right leg, the ankle, or the foot is flexed, just to say, foot is flexed, ankle in line with the knee, knee in line with the hip, same thing with that back left side, foot flex. So when I'm in this position, I'm actively pushing out with the right leg into the floor and down and in with the interior of that back leg. Using one stick, take the stick into your left hand. Angle the bottom of the stick in close to your shin, and then we have a free right hand here. You're gonna take your right hand to the floor and hip hinge forward. Drop that inside shoulder so the shoulder is not hiked up high towards the ear. Try to lengthen as much through your spine. Now, if you're struggling in this position, you can take that towel or that pillow and gently sit on it and that little bit of elevation could assist you in this position. And then we're gonna back off. Chest stays upright, we're staying squared off. Again, take a breath, come forward, palm to the floor so that right hand is kind of guiding you as you're lengthening that left arm and coming forward. Hold here and breathe. Take a moment, slowly come upright. Now we're gonna angle our torso over to the right. So that right hand is coming to the floor, left hand is coming across, think of like 11 or 10 o'clock or two o'clock, and then hinge forward. So I'm staying connected with those legs, I'm still actively flexing my feet and pressing into the floor. Breathe, slowly come out of it, upright the chest, and then hinge forward, nice flat back. Hold here, driving down into the stick, maybe about 30% of your strength. Hold, and slowly come out of it. Good. Close off, lower the stick. We're gonna transition to the other side. So we have our 90-90 with the left leg forward, foot flex, angle line with the knee, knee in line with the hip. Same thing, repeating that pattern. This time, our stick is angled uh, with the right hand on the stick, left palm to the floor. Find that position where you could comfortably hinge forward. Again, nice flat back. Breathe evenly. Drive down into the stick. Take a breath. And slowly come out of it. Good. Second one, so if you're uncomfortable on this side and you might need that pad to sit on, please do so. Hinge forward, stay in that stretch, stay connected, breathe, ease into it. So we're squaring that chest over the top of the thigh and the shin, and slowly upright. Stick now, take it over to the left, so, so think of 10 and two, and then hinge forward. You'll get a nice stretch through the hip and the waist. Pause here. Slowly come out of it. Take another breath, inhale, exhale, hinge forward. Hold, relax that bottom arm so that again that shoulder down away from the ear. Now as we come upright, whether you're using your long stick or short stick, you're going to take it in line with the chest and squeeze into the stick. And we're just going to come through center, squaring off 90-90 on the other side, rotate through the chest. Keep pushing into the stick, rotate through center, we're returning to 90-90 on the other side. 
nice and slow. Notice how I'm lifted out of the lower back. A little rotation of that upper body. Keep crushing the stick. Now you might slide a little bit. I'm sliding on my pants. <laughs> Perfect. And let's do one more. Through center. Excellent. Keep squeezing. Keep breathing. Last one here. And take a moment. Release. So lower the stick to the ground. Come into the shin box. You may wiggle back into the frame. Take your palms to the floor. Gently transition side to side. Now, we're going to do a standing drill before we come down and go into shin box. So, we're returning to a standing position. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Now that we've worked that 90-90, we're going to go into some internal and external hip rotation, taking our sticks about uh, to maybe 11 in 1 o'clock, stepping in. Sorry, the sticks should be ahead of you. I apologize, I had them right in line. You're gonna take them out away from you. Now, I'm going to push down into my right foot and bring the hip into flexion, elevating that left knee. As I drive down, arms are lengthened. So if you're struggling with your balance or maintaining length through the arms, you could always take the shoulders down and back, bend those elbows. Now, we don't want our hips to wiggle from side to side. We want to stay nice and centered with that right leg stabilizing as we elevate the left. Now, I'm going to externally rotate, take the arch of my foot to the stick to the right and really push into the stick. Like I'm gonna to try to knock it over. So this is quite challenging. Hold here, push, 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 breathe. Gently release, essentially almost keeping that knee still and now internally rotate. I'm gonna push like crazy into the stick, maybe 70% strength outward, working that internal rotation. Keep the chest proud, hold here, I'm watching the clock. And then one more time, keep that knee still, external push, breathe. Stay in that effort. You're gonna really feel everything fire up I'm already shaking over here. Granted, I did deadlift yesterday, so I could really feel it today. And switch to the other side. Push. Breathe. Stay with it. We're almost there. Then we're gonna do two on the other side. Good. Come center, lower, and shake it up. So that left side should feel alive. Okay. Take a breath. Find your alignment. Drive down into the stick and into the floor with that uh, left foot. Elevate the right knee. Go for that external rotation. Arch of the foot, pushing across to the stick to your left. And hold here. So one side may feel stronger than the other. One side, maybe you have a little bit more elevation than the other. Keep pushing. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Calm neck. And now internally rotate push outward into the stick to your right hold 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 try to maintain the height of that knee and now back over to across to the left push really put some effort into it try to stay upright so sometimes as we fatigue people start to hinge forward stay with it Release, internal rotation, push. Keep driving down into the sticks, create that stability. Hold here, almost done. And come back through center, lower your leg, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna return back down to the ground now. Lower the sticks. Your choice if you're using the short stick like I am, or you could use one of your long sticks depending on your space available. Now, we're gonna take our right leg forward, left leg back in our shin box. So this is why it's kind of really nice to be barefoot. If you're wearing uh, a sneaker, especially one that with a lot of padding, it's gonna be a little awkward. So barefoot or a minimalist shoe. Close off, 
this back of the calf is nice and close to my left hamstring, right foot touching that thigh. Now, if, if you need that assistance with the pillow, you could sit on it now or that pad, give that a little bit of elevation. You wanna be careful of kind of crunching into the ribs in this knee elevating. Again, everybody's mobility and flexibility is different. We're gonna take that single stick now. So I have my left hand on the bottom. My right hand is gonna be on the top. We're gonna to come up into our shin box, squeezing that back uh, left glute, sending the hips forward. So driving down into the sticks, inhale, exhale, come up, squeeze, hold for a moment, and gently lower. Now, everybody uh, is, again, different with their shin box and being in the virtual space, I can't really see you. If you want more of a challenge, if you find that's easy, you could take your stick at chest height and you could pull apart, activate that posterior line, come up, or excuse me, push, and then pull apart as you lower. So when you're coming up and out of it, you would push into the stick and as you lower, pull apart. If Again, that is too advanced. You're gonna angle your stick. So we're gonna do five on each side. I'll do this one where I'm leveraged on the floor and on the other side, I'll do it where my arms are extended. So we have, again, right arm on top, left hand on the bottom, inhale, exhale, come up, squeeze in your shin box, and then gently lower. Four more here. Inhale, exhale, come up, squeeze that glute when you lower, as Dennis used to say, don't crush the butterfly. So you don't want to slam down out of your shin box. It should be nice and smooth and controlled throughout. Up, gently lower. We have one more here. Slowly come up into your shin box and release down. Take a moment, shake it out. We're gonna to transition to the other side. So you know your two options. Here we go. We're left leg forward, right leg back. You can still leverage to the floor or you can follow me here, push into the stick, come up, pull apart, lower. Good. Crush the stick, inhale, exhale, come up, pull apart, lower down. Beautiful, let's go three more. Up. Pull apart, excellent, two more, squeeze, pull apart, ease down, one more, crush, good, pull apart, and lower, well done. Stick to the ground, palms to the floor, and think of sending that knee to 12 o'clock. Perfect, okay. We are coming up right now with single stick, so one stick. We're gonna go into an RDL. Working our hip and posterior line. I'm gonna use the long stick here. We're gonna go for three on each side. I don't know how well I'm gonna do because <laughs> sometimes <laughs> One side is easier than the other. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going on a diagonal here. This is my left leg, so you could follow along if you want on your left. I'm taking my right arm, uh, yes, my right arm and extending it, right? So when my arm is long here, I'm gonna pack that shoulder, engage the lat. So connecting to the trunk of the body to create some stability. Gonna elevate that right foot off of the ground, find a focal point, hip hinge forward. Hold at the bottom so we're parallel and squared off. Inhale, exhale, come to stand. So we're gonna do three of these together. Here we go. Lengthen, pack, nice and neutral with the spine. Breathing throughout, find that focal point. Slowly come to stand. See? <laughs> that one I messed up on. Okay. Number two. Hip hinge forward. Find that focal point. 
Nice flat back, staying parallel. Stay connected throughout. Good. One more here. Elevate the right foot. Hip hinge. Flat back. You could also load this with a dumbbell or kettlebell in that left hand and come to stand. Good. Well done. So we're kind of tying in some of the elements that we've been working on throughout class. So we're transitioning now. We're over on the right side. Right leg is our working leg. Again, this arm is going to be nice and long. Take that shoulder down, pack, feel that trunk stability. So instead of scooping out your center, right, we want a nice length through the torso. Focusing again on a hip hinge. So you're going to hinge, find that focal point. This side is my harder side. You can definitely feel it after deadlifting yesterday. This might be challenging. <laughs> and come to stand. Now you could keep that foot elevated before the second repetition or you could tap the ground like I did. Again, in the future, if you want to progress this, you could add load with either a kettlebell or a dumbbell in that right hand. Hinge forward. Good. And then slowly come to stand. Great. So that was three and three. Take a moment and shake it out. So we're going to go to our stretching portion of class now. We're going to use both of our long sticks for two of these drills. I'm going to add in a little bit of upper body here too. So on the first exercise, we are going to be about a little bit wider than hip width. Taking the arms so their palms are lower than shoulder height. We're going to take our sticks to our right. So my right arm here is going to be at about 12 o'clock or no, excuse me, three or nine o'clock and then angle the other arm forward and I'm driving down into the floor. When you're here, I want you to articulate your neck. So you're going to have your eyes leave the head, look from right to left. My hips right now are essentially staying still. In a moment, we'll add a component of our lower body. And then upright, send them directly across. So work your hip hinge. You want your chin to clear over the shoulder and bicep. And same thing, articulate, eyes leave the head. I'm thinking of kind of dropping that left shoulder or dipping that left shoulder down a little bit towards the left foot and then come back through center. Now we're going to widen our stance, heel toe out to where you can comfortably. You know, we're going to do the same thing with adding the legs. So I'm going to angle uh, the right arm three or nine o'clock other arm comes across and now shifting bending into that left knee hold here pull apart the ground below with your feet and then turn your head left and right again to the left and to the right drive into that foot slowly come out of it maybe you heel toe out a little bit wider now both sticks close to the body to the right. Then we're going to bend significantly into that left side and start to slide down. Hold here. Angle. Stay with it. Work into those legs while you're here too. And then push off that left foot. Take your sticks forward. Heel toe in and we're going to repeat that on the other side. So when you're ready, sticks are in line with the arch of the feet, left arm directly out to the side, right arm comes across on that diagonal, squaring off the hip hinge. So think of the, the um, crown of your forehead as the tip of a triangle, 
So we're not here, we're reaching forward on a diagonal, so we're pushing down into the floor. Breathe, start to look to your left and to your right, again, each side. And as we come upright out of it, both sticks to the left now, Clear the chin far over the bicep, lengthen that bottom arm. So this arm is not bent. That, then we want to push out energy through the knuckles, across the body. And then same thing, little articulation through the neck. Though on this one, you can dip that right shoulder further down towards the foot. Good. And then slowly come to stand. This is where we heel toe out wider in our position. Take the arms across. So left arm directly out to the side. That right arm, we're going to take it forward on a diagonal. Rip apart the ground below. Pull apart the mat. And then articulate the neck. Instead of your uh, body weight going forward into the ball of your right foot, pull the body weight back, flat foot and into the heel. Yep. And then slowly come out of it. Both arms now completely over towards that right side, or left side, excuse me. Bend deeply into that right knee. Let the upper body shift, almost like we're kind of hanging here on the stick. Hold. And again, articulate the neck just a little bit to each side. Excellent and then slowly come to stand. So our sticks are in front, heel toe in gently. We have two more stretches that we're gonna do on the ground here. Go in single stick. We're gonna go into an assisted pigeon pose and then the straddle split. Now with a pigeon, I'm gonna supplement with my shorter stick. You could stick with the longer one. I'm going to go here on a diagonal. So if you have any issues with pigeon, this is again where you could use the uh, pad or pillow that you have to gently sit on. I'm going to take this left leg forward and rotate the right hip down. So if you can, you have that uh, ankle in line with the knee. You're going to square the back hip off. Now, I have not done this in a while, and I could really feel, whew, this is tight. So one hand could go to the stick, or both hands, and then you're going to hinge your upper body over the top of that left leg. Again, keep rotating that right hip down. Find that alignment with the stick where you could sustain it. Take a deep breath in and out. Stay here, slowly come out of it, adjust if needed, take another breath. If one hand needs to go to the floor for assistance, you could do that too, and hinge. Just keep folding over, lengthening through the back. Hold here four counts, hold one, hold two, Hold three, and on four, slowly upright. Take a hand to the floor, lower your stick, close into a shin box, and shake it out. Now we're gonna go over to the other side. Right leg forward. Now, <laughs> it's definitely been a while. I'm glad I'm doing this today. Let me move that stick out of the way. So if you need that towel to sit on, by all means, please do. Taking our stick in front, you can switch the hand that's on top. And again, we're continuing to rotate the top of the left foot down. Breathe. This used to be in my daily repertoire and I think I need to bring it back, especially if I'm gonna be rowing and deadlifting like I am. Hold here for a breath or two. Slowly, upright. And then leverage the stick where you can. Continue to square off. Come down. Now, 
even though my elbows are bent here, I've got the length through the spine, no tension in the neck, that bottom right foot is staying flexed. Breathe. Hold here for counts. Hold one, two, three, and on four, slowly upright. Return the palm to the floor. Lower the stick. Close off and shake it out. Good work. Okay, going into straddle. Haven't done this in a while. Whenever I do it in class, people love it and they always send me a DM and say, bring it back. So today's the day. If you, excuse me, if you need to, you could sit once again on that towel or pad that you have available. And now the feet are flexed. And again, everybody's a little different. I could go super wide out to the side, but for today, we're gonna be kind of conservative here, flexing the feet, toes upward, lift up and out of the hip line. Take your right hand across, then your left. What I want you to do is pull the stick in closer to you. So the wrists are across, elbows are soft, shoulders are down away from the ear, and hinge forward. Take a breath. On your next exhale, wrap the foot around the stick, so point the toes. Good. Keep gliding the chest forward. Go to where you can comfortably. Reflex. Go deeper into the stretch. So it's still a hip hinge here. I'm saying the hip is back, taking the chest forward, another breath, wrap, point over the top of the stick as I'm still pulling. Take a moment, upright, lower the stick. Now, if you can, go out a little bit wider. I'm going to repeat the same thing, but we're going to add on first. So I want you to take your right hand over to the left. Draw the stick in, remove the left hand, sit tall, rotate, look behind you. Keeping again those feet flexed. Now as you pass through center, the shoulder stays down, left hand comes across to the right, draw in, shoulder down, palm to the floor, and look behind you, right? Think of lifting up and out of your lower back rather than sinking into it. Then, as we come through center, you're going to bend those elbows once again. Start to pull, so we're flexed through the feet. Elbows bent inward towards you, hinge forward. Now push the heels down into the floor below you. Push them down into the floor. Take a breath, wrap, still press down into the floor. Hamstrings pushing down, calves pushing down. Good. Take the chest further forward. Reflex. Keep hinging or you could stay upright personal to you. So I'll, I'll go upright and leverage this way. Proud chest. One more. Change to a point. Draw it in. Sit nice and tall. Last four counts you're still. Hold one. Hold two. Hold three. Hold four. And reflex or relax. Take a moment. Point and flex. Slide that stick forward. Take the hands to the backs of the thighs and then shake it out. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I'm Kelly Manzoni. You can find me on Instagram at kelsbells88. I'll be back next Tuesday. Then I am not here for the month of September. I return for the month of October. Now this class is going to be uploaded to the YouTube channel later today or tomorrow where there's a library of almost 350 classes which is amazing. 
And uh, be sure to check out the Movement Made Better podcast. Dennis and Neil always have amazing guests. I think you can find that on Spotify, Apple, pretty much anywhere where you can stream podcasts. And if you ever have any feedback or questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly, Kelly Manzoni at Kells Bells 88, or directly to Stick Mobility. I'll see you next week. Thank you for joining me.